Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest XI. Today we're back at the uh, Mini Metal Castle, or this Academy for Girls, and we're here at night time. There's a reason for that. The reason being right here. Hey, we get a memory box. Awesome. Yeah, remember that quest from last time? Okay, will do. Speaking of quests, is that girl out here? She is! And she's changed her clothing. Yeah, I did. I did it off screen. Great. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Ooh, three mini medals. Woohoo! Yeah, definitely have to go and turn those in. Awesome. We're going to be getting a lot of awesome stuff today, actually. I did some exploration of the um, Champ Sauvage outside, and yeah, that place, pretty awesome as far as the forging materials that you can find. Hey there. I certainly did. Oh. Oh. Huh. Oh. Oh, wow. So this is more than just a friendship. Hmm. Oh. Oh, yeah, because, you know, Jade can never have two parents. God forbid. Oh, this is sweet. This is nice. Uh, I like this. Okay, yeah. So it looks like we get a nice uh, hair piece for Jade there. Awesome. I wonder if we'll change her appearance. I would like for it to. Let's uh, check that out. Let's see, bunny ears. Oh no, it's an accessory. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da. There it is. Oh, oh wow, it raises her charm by quite a bit, but it lowers her, lowers her attack power. I can give that better attack accessory to somebody else. I don't know, maybe Sylvando or something. Why not? Whatever. Anyway, the next thing that I want to do here is... Uh, Head on over and turn in my mini medals, because I believe I was one away from getting the next reward. And I do want to go ahead and grab that uh, as soon as humanly possible. Oh! Now! No! 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 <laughs> oh, now I'm one away. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, shoot. Okay, whatever. Let's uh, get out of here, and I'm going to meet you on the Champ Savage field. Okay, here I am. I also made another Queen Whip for Silvando. It's very appropriate. He is the queen of the party, so he should have a whip. You know, and it also raises his attack power by 20, so that helps. Oh, it's, ex it's extra effective against humanoid monsters as well, if you really care about that stuff, but we haven't fought humanoid monsters for quite some time, so I'm really not concerned about that. So let's just be on our way. Let's see. Huh. Lots of ruins here. Those ruins don't look French to me. Hmm. And it looks like we've gone into, like, an entirely different biome of swamps and rainforest and palm trees and stuff. Just strange. Oh, good! The better for me to kill you with! These little cucumber guys, I believe that they first appeared in Dragon Warrior 9, I'm pretty sure. But we killed them Another victory. easily enough. Thanks, Rab. Let's go ahead and get you up with these crab guys as well. Handsome crabs. 
if you say so, game. They don't look so handsome to me, but whatever. Oh, wait! Is Jeed? I think that that Bell's Rib is restoring her MP. That'll really help in her multi-thrusting, because her MP needs all the help that it can get. Did you actually learn a useful spell? Oh, you're behind in your healing for what Rab has. No! No, you didn't learn a useful spell. You're still my completely useless party member. Thanks for nothing, Serena. Okay, let's keep on going through here. Anything? Anything at all? Anything useful? Come on. Okay. Let's see. I don't want to fight you. I want to ignore you as much as humanly possible. Let's see. Anything over here? I don't see anything. Whoa! Yoinks! Hey there, cow. Oh. Oh. Huh. We'll need to uh, keep the weather in mind for later. Okay, so what we can do here is head on into town. I'm gonna go in just to get this on my warp list, and then I gotta go back out so we can continue exploring the uh, Chomp Sauvage. Goes. Some of us have got sights to see. <laughs> I see this place is still full of friendly visitors. We passed through a while back on the hunt for clues about Mordigan, you see. Hmm. The beatific smile of the mule of the ruins of now what brings good fortune to all who lay eyes upon it. Well, if they believe that kind of rubbish, I'm guessing you didn't find out much of any use. <laughs> Aye, that's right, laddie. Not a sausage. But we're looking for something different now. And with the luminary with us, too. I have a feeling it might be worth taking another look at those ruins with fresh eyes. We'll have to make our way through town and over the top of the mountain to get there. Let's split up and see what we can find out on the way. Well, I don't really want to deal with this town right yet, because we have more exploring to do. Always, always gotta go exploring. I would just have imagined that that would have been a French-themed town, but I guess they already have the French-themed academy, so they wanted to make this place Cambodian-themed. You know, with the ruins of Angkor Wat and all that kind of stuff going around over here. Just kind of unusual. But anyway, go down here and get one of the most important items in the game. Hey, the Platinum Ore. Yeah, there's another place where you can get Platinum Ore in here. If you go to here and then this will tell you where you can get Platinum Ore. And it's over to the right of the Metal King's place. And uh, you want to get as much Platinum Ore as you possibly can. Because there's a lot of stuff that you can make with that ore, and I'll be making that off-screen at that campfire right there. But, um, yeah, let's just keep on going on down here. Looks like there's something over this way. Not entirely sure what it is, but might as well go ahead and uh, check it out. Huh. The cave on the promontory? What is this, Dragon Quest Three? Oh. Huh. Oh, another book that we're not quite ready for. We'll have to keep that book in mind for later. Okay, what I'm gonna do is head on over to that campsite that we passed up before and make a whole bunch of really cool stuff with our platinum ore. Okay, I did some uh, fun-sized forging down over here and by doing so, using my platinum ore, I made a Drazalian helmet. And uh, I was also able to make, let's see, where is it? The Drazalian armor. Yeah, look at that. Looks badass. I approve. 
The other thing that I was able to do was something for his grandfather, Rab, the Drizalian Drusku. Yeah, this is also with Platinum War and the Crown of Dundrazzle. That makes up the Sunlord set. Sweet! Guess he would be the rightful king if the uh, kingdom was still there. Oh man, this is... Oh, this is tight. I like it. I approve! Now, there's a couple more things that we can do over here. Let's see. We have a... Uh, Another crossbow target down there. Whoa! Yikes! Yeah, crossbow target there. And another crossbow target just a tad bit north of town. So I'm gonna run on through this minefield of enemies here and meet you there. It's just right here on this little peninsula jutting out north of Panamanon. Go ahead and grab that. Now let's head back to... Where I want to go? Um, yeah, the Academy. We aren't going to be exploring Panamnon today. Um, what I want to do is just do one thing at a time and, uh, yeah, do what the townsfolk tell us to do. Basically, the things that I want to get done today is exploring the, re the rest of, uh, Champ Savage. If there it is. Yeah. Awesome. And, um, uh, yeah, then heading on into that eerie eerie that we heard about as well. So that's pretty much my goal. We have a new enemy right here. Oh, both of them. The Horned Rabbits and the Metal Slime Knights. If that's what they're called. No, uh, they're called the Spiked Hair. Which I think was a name of them back in Dragon Warrior 3, one of their cousins. And yeah, it's casting Snooze this time. So, huh, kind of nice. I think the other one, it was, um... What was it doing? It was like building up its strength or something, the one that we saw earlier. These Metal Slime Knights, it's very unfortunate, but you don't actually get Metal Slime experience for defeating those Metal Slime Knights. Yeah, it really sucks, I know. Well, that was easy. Yes, it actually was, Jade. Thank you for that. I cannot get over this armor. Oh, it looks so cool. I just want to spin the camera around and look at my camera. Ooh, especially that angle. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, we get over here, and this is really where you can pick up your, um, your platinum ore. There should be two chunks of platinum ore each time. Perfect. Yeah, that's very, very, very nice. Because there is a lot of stuff that you need to platinum ore for. These Drizalian pieces of equipment, I think, used two per. And then that Sunlord pieces of equipment for Rab used, I think, one per. So, yeah. You really gotta stock up on that stuff. Whoa! Yikes! Get away from me! I might be in this armor and look really strong, but believe me, I'm a wuss, and I will run from you. Don't worry. I fought you once. One time is enough. I don't want to have to fight you again. I'm actually doing quite well. I have really done zero grinding whatsoever. I mean, I could have stopped and I could have... Uh, I could have grinded um, if I wanted to back at that one island um, where the Metal Babbles were appearing, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to, um, to grind, so I didn't. I mean, I'm sure that there's going to be grinding to be done towards the end of the game, but not right now. So, if I can avoid it, I'm definitely gonna want to try to avoid it. Let's see, going on over here. Oh, yeah. These are the slimes that will summon other slimes to make my life a slimy nightmare. I think I'm gonna be getting the king slime out of these guys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here they come. All they need is eight of them. Maybe not. I mean, I could try to kill them and use Helia Chopper and uh, Party Pooper and other things, but I'm gonna let them summon their little guys and then, you know, turn into the Metal King Slime just so we can all see it happen. Aw, oh, no MP? I am disappointed, game. 
Is there enough of you yet? There we go. Woohoo! Yeah, that was first seen in um, Dragon Warrior 4. Sorry. And the slimes actually did kind of bounce together like that in Dragon Warrior 4. It, it was kind of cool because games didn't do stuff like that back then. And to see it there um, in an NES game, I mean, that was something else. It was neat. I liked it. This guy's a lot of HP. Man, die already. There we go. Perfect. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Lots of nice stuff there. Oh, hey. Sweet. Wow, I'm actually doing not half bad, I must say. Uh, is there anything else around here? Yo, get away from me, slime! I don't want to have to deal with you! Uh-oh. All those little, uh, mini-demon guys again. We haven't seen them since that boss fight way back in, I think it was the Mangle Grove. So yeah, it's been, uh, quite some time. What's this way? Ooh, treasure! What do we have? Oh. All that for a crummy material? Oh man. Yeah, and those enchanted stones, at least it's- Oh! Ooh, 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 ooh! Gotta get it, gotta get it! BAM! I think that that's all five. Yeah, I'm almost positive that's all five, actually. Huh. Might have to go back to that campsite and, uh, turn them in. What was I talking about? Something about the Mangle Grove. Yeah, these little demon guys. We haven't seen them since, since that boss fight in the Mangle Grove. Okay, let's see what these guys can do if I actually let them do anything. Oh, they're the very devil. Not just a devil, a very devil. That's just great. And I still don't have my boom spell. It is really really getting on my last nerve at this point. Like, she's almost level 30! She's almost level 30! And she's still using, like, this little level 1 bullshit spell. Like, what the hell is that? <sighs> another day, another... And it's not like, okay, back in the day, you would use wizards, you would use mages and all that kind of stuff because um, they were the only class that could multi-target, you know? But here, everybody can multi-target. I mean, everybody has at least a group hitting ability, you know? So for her to not have her all hitting ability, like that's the one thing that sets her apart, is everybody else has a group hitting ability, she has an all hitting ability. You know? But it's still stuck on this level one spell. Like her all hitting ability, the one thing that really sets her apart, should be much higher. You know, it should be a more it should be more powerful. I don't know. Oh. Eh. Bullshit little superior medicine. Let's check out that Vanguard thing that I just got. I just wanna look at it real quick. Oh. Strike me first in battle. Uh, eh, eh, yeah, I don't know about all that. <laughs> well, it might be better than that gold thing that I have on. I've had that gold thing on since, like, the very beginning of the game. Oh, better just alien shilling. It's good for selling. Oh, I see two shinies off in the distance. Hey, awesome. I cannot get over this armor. Man, this armor's cool. You know, this is another thing that I like about this game. A lot of these other games that have costumes, they give the costumes at, like, the very end of the game, or, like, you know, 75% of the way through, and then there's only, like, you know, five costumes, maybe, and the vast majority of them are for the girls. There are no costumes for the boys. But here, there's a ton of costumes for everyone, and they're really interspersed nicely throughout the game. Okay, here we are at the Eerie Eerie to get our silver orb from the, what was the name of the guy? The Asylum Bird, I think? Something like that, at least. But here we are, and we're going to go exploring this place 
next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest XI. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day. Have a nice sweet chat, shall we? <laughs> How's it going? I wasn't going to mention it, but <laughs> <laughs>